I'm going to talk to you a bit about the central nervous system and, and nervous system regulation as a kind of introduction to some future videos and reels that I'll present around these. But your, a regulated nervous system experiences a stress response throughout the course of any given day. And But once your body feels safe, once you're able to act in a way to ensure your safety, your system comes to a baseline and you're able then to carry on with the things that you need to do throughout your day. But when you've experienced trauma, your central nervous system stops being able to regulate itself. It becomes, the, it pu pushes your nervous system out of side of its ability to regulate itself. And for some people, the system gets stuck in the on position. So, and you become kind of un, unable to calm yourself and you become overstimulated. And what you may then see in yourself or what you may experience is anger and anxiety and panic and restlessness and hyperactivity. And they can all result from you st staying in this ready to react mode. This put, it puts a lot of pressure on your system. It's a physical state of hyperarousal that becomes very stressful on all, all systems in your body. But in other people, the nervous system can stay in the off position. And this, is, this often results in depression, disconnection, um, lethargy and fatigue. Um, and, but you can alternate between those two on and off positions throughout the course of any given day and it, or, or at the course of any week, which is utterly, utterly exhausting and frightening for you, your brain and your body. But the nervous system, what it means is that the nervous system has become conditioned to exist in a state of fear. And in cases of extreme and chronic stress and um, like childhood trauma and sexual abuse and adverse childhood, multiple adverse childhood experiences, this results in the complex PTSD um, and complex post-traumatic stress disorder, which I have done a blog about. And you can, well, you can read it, the blog, uh, going to the link in my bio. Just plug there for my blog. But if, in if, that if that nervous system has become stuck in the on and off um, in childhood, that shifts into adulthood, that moves into adulthood with you. And then what happens is you become triggered, activated. Your nervous system becomes activated in the on and off by things that would seem utterly unrelated to the trauma that you've experienced and the original trauma that you experienced. And it's often, you know, where people, where women working with me will say, I'm just really confused why I've reacted in this way because it does seem out of proportion. But how can you, how can you start to, to help discharge that trauma stress and transition back into a window of a regulated nervous system? One in which you can bring yourself back to, to that calm and you're able to act in, in ways to ensure your safety, which is commonly referred to as the window of tolerance. Well, one of the first ways is actually in seeking. It's quite a simple, but a really, really hard one for a lot of people who've experienced childhood trauma and, um, and sexual abuse. It's a really difficult one for people to, to engage in straight away. But it is in the act of seeking safe relationships. And that doesn't necessarily mean in the first insta instance a therapeutic relationship like a psychotherapy relationship. But it, it can and should hopefully move into that. But it is in the first instance having a safe and secure and soothing relationship and calming relationship with someone who is in your circle, who you feel can bring that to you without um, without judgment, without without any condition to it. 
Because when you are with someone who is safe and soothing, you are able to help your nervous system settle and create, and it creates a safe place for you to connect and share your experience. Um, and we, because we heal in those relationships. It's really interesting that, you know, anybody that knows me, and if, and if you don't know me, one of the things um, about me is that actually I started my career 23 years ago, providing therapy for children and young people who had been traumatised and abused. And, and often in that therapeutic relationship with those children, the very first thing that we had to create in order for them to just feel that they could tolerate the stress of actually being in the room with me was to create that soothing and calm and safe relationship with them and an environment that felt that, that felt that for them, which is actually, you know, completely alien to, to a lot of people who've been traumatised. So that's why there's resistance to it. But it is one of the first things, it's one of the most incredible things that you can do. And I will talk about some of the kind of self things that you can do um, in terms of your body, in terms of some of the things that you can do to, to start regulating yourself. But actually, in the first instance, seeking and having soothing and calming relationships with someone who's around you that's able to just mirror a calm that you need actually is an incredibly powerful tool so if you'd like to ask me more please you know pop a comment into into the comments um, and and I'm more than happy to answer some questions <laughs>